In this video, we're going to cover how Cloudflare SASE solution protects sensitive data in your organization now that AI is a part of your employees' workflows. We'll approach it from three places. Content detection, intent detection, and full visibility into what prompts people are sending. Let's start in DLP profiles. These are the detection rules we're going to apply to both data in motion and data at rest across your organization. If we look at a profile targeting personal information, we can see a number of predefined detections like bank account numbers and social security numbers. But moving over to another profile, specifically designed for AI prompts, you'll notice it distinguishes between content and intent, and we'll dig into that difference in a minute. Below that, we're going to turn on AI context analysis. Now this lets the DLP engine adjust its confidence in a detection based on the surrounding context. So ultimately, you get fewer false positives. For data at rest, let's look at our CASB integrations. For enterprise AI services like OpenAI and Anthropic, we can see some of the major detections here are linked to DLP profiles that you apply to the integration. In the next page, we can see we've already found a lot of sensitive information that hasn't been properly stored as I click into one of the findings. Now, if you're going to secure data in motion, you'll need to apply these DLP profiles to a secure web gateway policy, as we're doing here. According to our expressions, if traffic matches one of the DLP profiles, and if it's inside a Gemini prompt or upload, then we're going to block the request, log the DLP payload, and record the prompt for future reference. We'll also give the user a helpful prompt to coach them about proper AI usage policies. Now, I'm going to upload a bunch of customer data to the AI and ask it to parse it for me. Gemini is going to think for a while, but then eventually it returns a network error. Now, this is because my traffic is being on ramp to Cloudflare's network before it reaches Gemini, and it's applying the security profiles I set against my outbound traffic, which stops the message entirely before it leaves the Cloudflare network. You can also see a helpful coaching message appear at the bottom of the screen from our device client. Coming back briefly to the DLP profile, I'm going to disable the content filter on this page and simply leave intent. This means the AI won't do anything about sensitive information unless it detects the prompt is inappropriate, risky, or malicious. Coming back to the AI, we can see it parses the customer data and flags it for duplicates. However, when I ask the AI to tell me specifics about a high-value customer, the prompt is considered to have malicious intent and stopped the same way as before. Finally, in logs, I can see a list of all the AI-related DLP violations that have occurred in my network. After decrypting the log, I can see what my users have been asking and whether or not that poses any risk to my organization. 